This tutorial is supposed to deal with the powerful sidebar of the Commode Root Planner. I will explain the functions of the search box and the other settings to you step by step. We also take a look at the preview dates of your Planet Tour. Hello, my name is Thomas, I am your Autotech instructor. The Comod Root Planner is one of the core elements of Comod. That is why it is important to master its functions. And these instructions are a masterclass tutorial, because I explain to you the use of the following tools of the sidebar in the Comod Root Planner. The sidebar search box, the importance of sport, fitness and route types, the waypoints and finally the tour data of your planet route. Just one note before we get started. The sidebar of the Commod Route Planner you will find in the left side of the Route Planner window. If you don't want to show it, just toggle it off and you can toggle it on again. You may also use the H button at your keyboard to toggle it off and toggle it on. Now let's get started. To use the search box just click on it. And it's not a simple search box. You can also use it to toggle on locations and bookmark and to use bookmark places to plan your tour. To search for a location, type the name of the location and you will get a list of all locations that include your keyboard. So we will try for New York Central Park. The more precise you are when entering, the more precise your search result will be. So here is an example. Okay, and there is the Central Park in New York City. You may also search for areas, in example for continents, countries, states, cities and regions to jump to a part of the map. So here's my example for Australia. And the map jumps to Australia. So this is not a good example, but it works well. But these locations are unsuitable for planning as they are too imprecise. Use locations to plan. I don't use the localization because of the missing GPS on the desktop. It makes sense by planning inside the Komoot app. The first time you won't have any bookmarked locations. If you bookmark locations, you can use them for a comfortable route planning. Just click on it to search for bookmarked places or to list most recent bookmarked locations or nearby bookmarked locations. Now back to the search box. Highlights are already activated on the maps. These are the red symbols on the map. They are defined by the spot you have selected. There are sometimes red dots like this. Those are highlights from other spot. To turn off highlights just click on it. It works also for all other kind of places here. For example, if you will use parking to plan your route toggle it on and the parking areas will be, will be displayed now on the map. You can toggle it off. You can also use multiple selections. And now all those locations will be displayed on the map. Close the search box with the X button right of the box. Now, do you agree that's not just a simple search box? 
to master navigation with the Komoot app, I recommend the Komoot Navigation Basics tutorial. The link will be displayed in the top right and you can also find it in the video description. The next tool of the sidebar is Sport. This selection is important for routing, hiking, use different paths than cycling or running, cycling, use different paths than mountain biking, road bike, use other paths again. For the five types of cycling, I did a test with 30 tours to find out which paths and surface Komoot use for routing there. Unfortunately, I only have made this tutorial in German, but maybe it will help you. The link is shown in the top right corner and you will find it in the video description. Fitness is only important for calculating the duration and the difficult level of a tour. You can select five fitness levels using the slider. The selection of the route type determines whether you are planning a point-to-point -point tour, a one-way trip, or you're planning a round trip. In this case, the destination does not apply because the starting point is also your destination. Did you realize that you can change the start of every round trip directly in the Komoot application? No matter whether a tour from the Komoot search, from your friends or your own tours, You can change the start with just a few clicks. Find out more in my tutorial. Now this is probably the most interesting part of the sidebar, the waypoints. With a one-way trip you have a waypoint A and a waypoint B. This is your tour start and your destination. And remember, a round trip only has a starting point. As you plan more waypoints, this will be displayed in the list. Open it by clicking and hide it. If you click in the text field of an empty waypoint, and this will happen only at the beginning of route planning, then the search box will open. If you have already planned waypoints, you can delete them with the trash can. Waypoints cannot be renamed. The name is formed from the name of the place, the name of the highlights, or its sequential number. I will show you this here. Now I use only places to root, so here is no consecutive or sequential number. In the list, if the list is hidden, simply click on the number. Yeah, this is what I told you here. Click on the number to open the list of the waypoints. You can freely change the order of the waypoints within the list. Go to the list of waypoints with the cursor. On the far left are three bars in front of each waypoint. Hover over it and move the waypoint while holding down the left mouse button and release the button to define its new position in the list. And the route will be replanted then. And we will try this here with waypoint 10 and waypoint 11. So I will put waypoint 11 to as waypoint 2 so I take it here and move it to number 2 and now Comet has replanted and we will do it again with uh, now this is now number 11 waypoint number 11 and uh, I will move it to waypoint 3 and now the route is replanted and it looks good. On the bottom of the list there is the reverse symbol. 
you can use it to reverse the direction of the tour. So let's have a look at it. What's happened then? Now the direction has changed. And I can change it again. The plus button also opens the search box to add a new waypoint to your tour. And this looks like this. I will close it by the X button. And then I will collapse the list. The white circle gives you the opportunity to plan your tour without paths. Then a direct route between two waypoints is planned and the route network will be always ignored. That can be interesting in the passless wilderness or in other special cases. We'll talk about that in another tutorial. And you may also reset the planet tour to clear all waypoints and the route at once. And if your plans change along the way, then simply replan the tour on tour. I showed you that in the tutorial Komoot replan on tour. The link will be displayed in the top right and you all can also find it in the video description. If you have already set waypoints and a route has been created, then data fields are displayed in the lower part of the sidebar. The time depends on your selected fitness level, then the distance and uphill as well as downhill are displayed. The level of difficulty is determined by the selected fitness level and the length of your tour. Extra tips are sometimes shown if the route includes segments with temporary exit restrictions. Then the weight types and surfaces are displayed. If you hover over one of the colored bars, the section of those weight types or surfaces will be highlighted on the map. You can see it here. So here are no different weight types. But on surfaces, there are different surfaces and highlight are changing. There's also a weather forecast available. I'm not sure, maybe it's a Como Premium feature. I don't know. And finally, your expected average speed is displayed, which results from the selected fitness and the length of the tour. Hopefully that was a nearly complete guide of the Komoot Route Planner sidebar. Did you learn something new? Then tell me in the comments. Do you have any questions? Also use the comments. And if you liked the video, please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. My name is Thomas. I'm your Outdoor Tech Instructor. See you next time.